wow look how far we've come as a species we went from this to this from this to this from this to this and many more achievements and accomplishments that are far too many to name here and I think that it's important every now and then to remember what got us to this point what method got us here what process of inquiring information about the world around us and how it operates got us to this point was it mysticism casting spells prayer no it was something that actually works the scientific method well some might ask what is the scientific method well I'm kinda hard to believe that no one knows what it is in this day and time but okay I've seen many different versions of it but I'm going to use a very simple version that I learned in school ask a question do background research construct an hypothesis test your hypothesis by doing an experiment analyze your data and draw a conclusion and then communicate your results this very simple method is responsible for all the things that too many of us take for granted so when I hear negative sentiments coming out of the mouth of people usually religious people about science and scientists it makes me want to puke you know they sit there and cast aspersions about men and women who are in the trenches and on the front line in the war against ignorance inventors, doctors, physicists even teachers people who dedicate their lives to the pursuit of knowledge only to get scoffed at by people who still believe in witches, ghosts, demons, goblins and just about any other myth from the dark ages you can think of all anti-science, all anti-intellectual, and all arrogant in their ignorance. Scoffing. Why they use their cell phones, watch their TVs, pop their painkillers, drive their cars, and use their computers and cameras to come on YouTube and upload videos speaking out against and even ridiculing the very process and people that gave them all of those things. And in favor of what? Some ancient texts? written by people who were living in a day and time submerged in superstition. It does not benefit scientists to lie to you. And, like any other profession, you will have people of ill repute. And what usually happens is, when they put forth a hoax, it's not religious people that debunk the hoax, it's other scientists. Scientific method corrects itself. That scientist that came up with that particular experiment or that particular hypothesis, he's not doing these experiments alone because once he communicates his his results and his findings, that experiment will be repeated thousands of times by various scientists who really don't know this guy and don't have any personal connection to him. And the only thing they're worried about is whether or not the results he came up with will be the results they come up with if they do the exact same experiment. So this grand conspiracy that a lot of you have formed in your head that involves science and scientists is per bunk.